Well, hello little goblins and welcome to art with Miss V. Today we have some tricks and some treats for you, so why don't you stay for a spell? <laughs> Where do little baby witches go during the day? A day scare center. <laughs> For today's art assignment, you're going to need a piece of white drawing paper or construction paper. You'll also need a pencil with an eraser, a marker for outlining, some scissors, crayons, colored pencils, paint, or any kind of art supplies you have to add color, and maybe a glue stick. What do you learn at which school? Spelling! <laughs> the first thing we're going to do is fold the paper in half like a card. Now you're going to draw and make two cuts on the fold to create a flap. This will be the base of your haunted house. With the first flap still tucked inside, cut another smaller flap on the upper fold only. This is going to be the second story of your spooky house. Fold this new flap forward for a good crease and then pop it through to the inside of the card as well.
Here are a few houses ready for decorating. Notice some of the lines are straight and some of them are slanted. You can even try for a three-story house by cutting another flap. What do witches put on their bagels? Scream cheese! <laughs> this is your horizon line where the sky meets the ground. Notice that everything above the horizon line is the background or sky. You can draw trees, you can draw the moon and stars. Notice which parts are the roof and which parts are the front of the house. Remember, you can decorate the house any way you'd like. I'm going to start by adding some doors and windows. What kind of music do mummies listen to? Rap! <laughs> Continue adding spooky details and lots of things to make your house look cool. Your house does not have to look like my house. Then you can use any kind of art supplies you add, have to add color to your haunted house. I'm going to use crayon and paint. Make me get my flying monkeys! This last step is completely optional, but if you have construction paper, consider gluing on extra pieces. I'm going to glue on part of a roof.
And if you have a piece of construction paper, you can use it to make your house stronger. You'll fold it in half like a card and glue your house on top of it. Well, I hope you had so much fun today. I know I did, but now it's time for me to go to the store. I'm all out of mascara and scare spray. <laughs> Goodbye. Thank you for joining me for Art with Miss Me. I'll see you next time. <laughs>